Hello and good afternoon or good morning. I am so excited because tomorrow the Make It Mobile Hackathon launches with Gitcoin. So today we wanted to make it easy for all of you that have been wondering, how do I join? What is Gitcoin? Why does mobile matter? So we are going to have Jarell James join us from C-Labs, who leaves our DevRel team. Jarell, I'm glad you could join us today. Hey, thank you for having me on this beautiful live stream. <clears throat> yes. So, Jarell, talk to me, like, what is what was the point of Make It Mobile Hackathon? You've been a dev in the space for a while. What has inspired you to really bring in this movement? So the Make It Mobile Hackathon is a compilation of just a ton of people's hard work. Uh, the team at C-Labs, which is like a core team building uh, building out the Celo ecosystem, building on Celo. Um, for a while, we've been wanting to uh, activate the Gitcoin community. We've been wanting to bring Celo to Gitcoin. And so we had reached out to our friends over there, Scott Moore and Kevin Owaki, who have been doing great work. Um, they And we basically wanted to find a way to incorporate Celo and CUSD um, to the Gitcoin platform so we could allow hackers to come in, do bounties for us, or other hackers just pay each other in uh, in CUSD or Celo. And so to commemorate this launch, we wanted to really show everybody why we're here and get apart, uh, get across this point of what does Celo do? What is this EVM compatible chain? What what is the benefits for like the community as a whole of Web3 for like Celo? Why, why, what's the benefit to the community that Celo exists? And for us, the benefit is we're mobile first blockchain and we're helping bring crypto to 5.6 billion mobile users. Many of those billions are located in the global south and their their whole entire life runs on a mobile phone. Their entire uh, like family has a mobile phone. This is us attempting and, and succeeding in many ways to bring crypto to those masses and to encourage you at home, whether you're from Web2 or whether you're already a Web3 veteran, to come in, use your skills and help us make crypto mobile. So this hackathon on Gitcoin was really just kind of our... Uh, flag in the sand, if you will, on on Gitcoin with what we do and why we think it's important and why we want people to join us. And uh, at the same time, you can get paid in CUSD and Celo for helping us achieve this mission. That's awesome. And I've heard that there's already, what, a couple hundred people that have signed up already all over the world? 331 people have already signed up, which uh, for any of you who have ever worked on Gitcoin before, is actually an incredible amount of people just to sign up before it even starts. Um, it's great that everyone kind of identified with the mission and signed up, even though they didn't know what our bounties were gonna be. But that's what today is for, is to like finally exactly. unveil what the bounty is and what the what the hackathon prize that we want people to work on is, is, is about. Awesome, well actually that's a great segue, Jarrell. What is the big prize? The big prize, I wish I had like a drum roll button. Uh, <laughs> the the big prize is um, called Mobilize DeFi. Um, little wordplay there for those who are willing to let me take it. This is uh, really a, a prize that outlines, hey, ETH is an incredibly powerful technology. It's done a lot to create magic and 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 financial advancement for a lot of people. But until we make that magic mobile, we're not really going to be including everyone. And this this vision that the Web3 community has, has sold people on banking the unbanked definitely isn't possible until we include the unbanked and the people around the world in the global south and in developing nations in the world of DeFi. And uh, it's not just developing nations that want DeFi to be mobile. I can I can point you to tons of people in the in the Western world and developed world that want DeFi DeFi to be mobile, and you see a huge pull from uh, uh, scenarios like the Robin Hood GameStop uh, situation, where you see people who have access to a mobile essentially financial app. So in our case, it'd be DeFi, and they want to they want to experience what that is like, and they want to uh, invest or create opportunities for themselves. So the Make It Mobile Hackathon's main mega prize will be called Mobilize DeFi. And the prompt is basically to build a DeFi dApp or tool or mobile browser app that showcases the type of ingenuity and network effects that layer two projects have created on uh, on chains like Ethereum. So we're hoping people will come in, build new products, fork dApps, or innovate new ideas on top of forked dApps. And most importantly, in the end, we're hoping that people will make crypto accessible on mobile phones in whatever way they see fit.
Um, so yeah, come through, design a mobile dApp. Like we have, we have a lot of resources to help you out. We have the dApp kit, there's cellohub.org, uh, and both those, both those resources will show you the vast ecosystem that already exists on Cello and the type of primitives that people can play around with and build off of. And so we encourage you to come through and uh, I can share my screen for a second if that helps. That's great. Uh, yeah. Let me share my screen. Here we go. This is the link to the, or this is the, uh, the prize and what it looks like. So what you're looking at here is um, just the challenge description. I encourage, I'll drop the links and, and Larisha, I'm sure we'll share them around as well. But uh, this is the prize breakdown. It's 60,000, uh, 61,000 total in, uh, in, in prizes. And the first place prize will win 10,000 CUSD. It's about 10,000, that is $10,000 worth of CUSD. And then second place prize, there'll be one winner as well who receives, uh, this is um, incorrectly post up, posted, but there'll be 1,000, so it'll be second place prize that wins 5,000 and there'll be a uh, third place, 10 third place prize winners that each win $3,000. So in order to go and be a part of this, you just gotta find this link, which we will be posting. And you can see the breakdown here. This is the Hackathon Prize Awards. We have mobilized E5 Mega Prize. There'll be one person, 10,000, one person, 5,000, and 10 people for $3,000. So come through, make a team, um, and, and just try and hack on this. And then on top of that, we'll be giving out community bonus awards at the end to the best teams or, per, or individual coming from Latin America, the best coming from Africa, and the best coming from Asia. Not to mention, we'll also be having a student prize as well as a uh, Built by Women prize. We're celebrating International Women's Month this month. And we want to encourage everyone who's out there trying to build forward thinking dApps and apps coming from women-led teams to get involved and help us make crypto mobile. Your perspective is very valuable and I and I guarantee it'll be good stuff. Um, on top of that, we'll be doing a Twitter poll and a Telegram poll uh, for the People's Choice, which is going to just go out to whichever project that enters this, uh, this mobilized DeFi prize that catches the community's imagination and are, uh, and are like, you know, just making us feel like, wow, this is a really well-designed app. This is going to do something that really, really powerful. And uh, it's caught a lot of people's attention. So that's the, the, the layout. And then you can find this, this page, which is uh, the town square. And this is where you go once you've entered through that last page. You've hit register. And you've come in and you uh, see that this is it. This is where, where everyone's talking. This is where people are trying to create teams. This is, oh, someone from Taiwan came in recently. That's awesome. Um, some people are posting videos like Ian, who is uh, creating something called Black Magic, and he wants to figure out how to deploy that in, uh, in, on Cello. <laughs> Him and I are having a little conversation here. Um, but yeah, come through. I'd love to, love to talk about your projects and just like take this even further. Um, this is... Uh, I'll leave this this page up, or or I could actually just share this around afterwards. But uh, this is uh, this is kind of the gist of it. That's great, and thank you, Jarrell, for outlining that. I'm curious. Do you recommend doing this with a team, doing it on your own? How can you participate? So I would recommend going in and getting a team. Um, actually, let's just share my screen again. So. You come in here, and you you see one second. Introduce yourself at the town square. So you go here, right? Wow, three hundred thirty-one people to to choose from. So you could even go to the participants, and even see what people are all, uh, what talents and skills others have. There's TypeScript, JavaScript. You know, people coming in who are uh, really well versed in. Go. I'm trying to find some React devs. There have been a couple of React people, which is really great because, I mean, as a mobile first uh, team, we definitely are trying to attract some React devs. So if you're in the Web2 space and you're like, I have a lot of experience with React, but I don't have any experience with Web3, I wouldn't sweat it. I would still show up and uh, go over, put your, put your skills down. And then 
once the hackathon starts, you can create projects and you could tell us what you're working on and tell the tell the the community what you're working on and then you could look for your you could put that you're looking for team members and so then uh, others can come through or you could come through and search for anyone who's looking for team members and that is a really powerful tool that Gitcoin has it's just this idea of like okay I'm a UX designer but I'm not like a programmer how do I find I have a great idea uh, how do I find a team of programmers to help me bring this idea to fruition there's probably a team of programmers out there that's just waiting for someone who needs help so you come through and you you let them know and you make a you make the case for what you want to do and what what you want to make mobile so I would really really encourage you to make teams <laughs> it'll be a lot easier and it'll be a lot more fun to some extent and uh, you know Greater numbers reduces friction. You won't run into as many issues you'll probably find. It's true. We, we need more fun in 2021. We do. And I even heard that there's like kind of like a matchmaking event or something happening next week. Yes. Sign up. yes. Adriana, who for many of you who might be aware of our of our all hands community calls that happen um, every so often. Adriana leads that. It's called Kuneko, and she's offered to help us lead a matchmaking event next Tuesday, wherein you can come through, listen to us talk about uh, mobile DeFi, what the world looks like currently, what the space should look like in a few years, um, the hundreds of millions of new people that'll be coming online to smartphones and learning about what their needs are, and then um, we'll have a whole matchmaking session where you can go in to special rooms and break out and talk to people and see what their skills are. Not only that, we will also be posting a Discord link that allows you to go to a specific hackathon Discord inside of our server, and it will have a, an audio channel for water cooler conversations. It'll have the ability to just like do a survey and find out a little bit about yourself and the skills that you're bringing to the table and match you with others who are also looking for those types of skills or have similar skills and they want to team up with another person who has the same vision as them. So uh, just come through. I would really encourage the team the team building and matchmaking session. It's just going to be a lot of fun. I love that that came together because, you know, we're all decentralized and that's the beauty of blockchain. We're coming from everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. So to build a team, what, so if you're new, so we, I mentioned that you said that there were some reactives. What if you have never built on Celo before? Obviously we're going to have like the DAP kit, but are there going to be any workshops or can people like talk to Celo devs directly and figure out best practices? Yes, there will be there will be workshops led by our DevX team and product team. So you'll be hearing from people like Barbara Liao. For any of you who have seen these Denver talks, uh, you'll be hearing from Meta, and you'll be hearing from myself as well, Josh Josh Kreitz, uh, Yaz Kuri, all sorts of devs at Cello or C Labs. And you'll uh, you'll have the opportunity to just pop in, uh, set up a, a session, and kind of bounce your idea off of us. Maybe there's resources you don't know about yet. Maybe there's uh, little workarounds to, to specifically cater to what you want to do that you aren't finding. And our documentation is very thorough. Our tech talks made by Judy, who's amazing, are, are very thorough and in depth. But I mean, this is the world of open source code. This is the world of just new ideas and innovation. So there's bound to be something that has to come up that'll be a, ch a challenge to us to figure out, hey, what's going on? Let's help you out. Um, but the more we know, the more we can help. And so I really encourage you to jump in and uh, and, and learn about uh, Cello from the people at the core teams that are building on it. So, so as well as um, other mentors who will be involved, which will be like Cello Camp graduates, people who've built stuff like Impact Market or Moolah Market, which is a fork of Ave on Cello, and people who've built stuff like OobSwap, which is uh, just a fork of Uniswap and, and designed for a mobile interface um, on Cello. So come through and I encourage you to meet them and learn about their success and, and recognize that a lot of them were really in hackathons about a year or so ago and in this in the same space as you trying to come up with these ideas and now they have full-fledged businesses and are creating a lot of value for the cello ecosystem it's true and it's great to see the cello community come together and really help everyone out and this is my plug to follow the cello devs on twitter there will be some memes if you want some like contracts like we're gonna do some best practices on there and then I'll let everyone know about these workshops. So yeah. on top of prizes, who's going to be judging this? I hear there's some top, some top places and voices coming in. Yeah, everything from the people who are, are some of the biggest uh, investors in the space, like Polychain, A16Z, Flory Capital, to people who are just former 
fellow camp graduates, people who have who have built spaces, uh, built spaces for individuals or and communities on top of Cello, and uh, people who work at C Labs who are like the founders, for instance, like Sepp Kamvar. You're gonna have Merrick. You're gonna have Rene, um, and you'll have all these people as well as like down in the down in the trenches devs who have who have built products and have hacked on these types of hackathons and uh, and know know what the time frame looks like for someone who's just trying to bring an idea to uh, a manifest within like a six week time frame and and all the struggles that go along with that so you it'll be a really diverse set of people and you're going to have a lot of opportunity to present to people who who's you know attention is is not exactly the easiest to get and uh, on top of just those types of people, there'll be people who have already who are building impressive uh, cross chain architectures or primitives for our chain agnostic primitives, which is to say that it's not for any specific chain. So we'll have people like uh, the graph protocol there and we'll have a ceramic as well. And um, really excited to hear what these types of people have to say around projects that are kind of built out on Celo that are now incorporating some of their their technologies. So. Um, I want to also include that there will be a, a second bounty, much much smaller, but <clears throat> it will be listed under Mobilized DeFi, and that's going to be from our our co-sponsor Figment, which is a, a team that's put together a lot of really amazing education resources. For some of you Web two devs, you might be out there saying, "Okay, I really want to learn a little bit more about Celo before I just jump into the deep end and start trying to apply my skills." Well, I would encourage you to still join this hackathon go to the Figment Learn uh, bounty that'll be posted, and they have a whole curriculum on Celo and take you from zero through the stack, through the blockchain, deploying smart contracts, and just really easy step-by-step -step progress. And um, if you think that that's cool, imagine how much cooler it is when you're going to get paid at the end of it in Celo or CU in CUSD to just learn about Celo. And maybe you come through that tutorial process and you come out the other end saying, "All right, I've got this. I can go ahead and join the join the hackathon." Don't be shy. Even if you join in a week or two weeks late, it's a six week hackathon. And even if you're joining late, there's probably teams that have been hacking the whole time that are still looking for members uh, halfway through the hackathon and, and are open to just taking whoever they can who's bringing skills and vision and and energy to their project. That's great to hear. And we have an image for everyone of just showing the outline of the six weeks. So I'm going to share that here. So everything that Jarrell outlined of like, you need to create your account, log into Gitcoin, and really explore the challenges and what you want to do. Join Discord so you can chat with solo devs, hear best practices, hack away, submit your work, and then win prizes. So this is all starting tomorrow, March 5th and it will be going through mid-April, and we are super excited to see what everyone in the ecosystem builds. Is there anything else, Jarrell, that you wanted to mention before we let everyone go? I really just wanna say you should challenge yourselves on what you think DeFi looks like, because for you know billions of people, 1.126 billion people live in, in African continent alone, um, there's, a whole different ver version of DeFi. There's things like Tonda Loan Clubs, and and there's things like Saving Circles. And so come through, uh, read up, talk to people from these spaces that are going to be joining. There's a ton of people from Latin America and Africa that are joining this hackathon. And help bring forward a DeFi that maybe people haven't seen before. And even if you want to redeploy dApps that are coming from uh, Ethereum, take that spin. Make your made, You've made it now mobile. You've made it on a mobile phone. Think about what UX like changes that brings. Think about the possibilities that that brings, and uh, you know, sky's the limit. Do what you can. It's true. It's time to defy the odds, right? You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's puns up here. We're all doing puns. I know. Yes. Mobilize defy. <laughs> well, thank you everyone for joining. And again, go to hackathoncello.org so that you can join the Make It Mobile Hackathon starting tomorrow. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Thanks. All there. Bye.